Yeah, thank you. Margot, um, Minister, um, this is just that you'll know it's in relation to COM 22304 um, in Europe. To ask the Minister uh, for Environment, Climate Action and Communications if you will oppose the proposed European Union regulations um, that COM that I'm talking about on land and peace, peace restoration with reference to the biodiversity strategy and climate strategy as part of the European Union Council of Ministers, given that the consequences for Irish farmers farming will be d detrimental if this regulation is left in its present form. Thank you very much, Deputy Fos Morris. The EU nature restoration law, as proposed, seeks to repair European habitats that are in poor condition and bring back nature to all ecosystems. The aim is for nature restoration measures to apply to a portion of the EU's land and sea areas by 2030 and to eventually extend these measures to all ecosystems in need of restoration by 2050. In addition, there are proposals from the EU Commission to reduce the use and risk of chemical pesticides and a new soil health law to significantly improve the state of soils and protect soils on the same legal basis as air and water. In combination, it is envisaged that these flagship legislative proposals will help ensure the sustainability, resilience and security of food supply in the EU. While the proposed EU nature restoration law has been negotiated, there are measures such as a voluntary eco-scheme set out in the CAP strategic plan. It is anticipated that it will be a key action in the delivery objectives of the nature restoration law. The proposed EU nature restoration law will have implications for all land users in Ireland. These will be taken into consideration as part of the second phase of the land use review due for completion in 18 months' time. The national implementation of the proposed EU nature restoration law will require a whole of government approach and will continue, we will continue to work closely with our colleagues in the Department of Housing, Local Government and Heritage to who, who are leading on this. But to answer, if I can, uh, the question that uh, uh, will I oppose the proposed union regulation, I met Commissioner Sinkovic when I was in Brussels the week before last uh, and we discussed this very issue. And I'm supportive of what he and what the Commission is looking to do. I believe it will be to the benefit of nature restoration in Ireland, but also the development of rural Ireland and also our cities. Part of the plan and part of the proposals are that we actually green our cities as well as our country areas. And this law and the measures that will help deliver that, I think of real benefit, long-term benefit for our people. So I said to Commissioner Sinkovic in speaking to him that I would be supportive of his work. If you support this in its present form, Minister, you will be a traitor to the people in rural Ireland. That's the facts. What is being proposed at the moment, it would make Cromwell blush what he tried to do to Ireland. The facts are, if you read it, you talked about voluntary. This is bringing into regulation a law that will force people on peaty soils, and bear in mind, go down to Kerry, where most of the cows are reared for the dairy sector. Go to the west, the northwest, go out to the Midlands, where land has been reclaimed for years, where families make a living. And whether you're in government or whoever is in government, you can listen to these words very carefully. Whether you sign it or whether you don't sign it, whether you support it with the EU or whether you want to be a lackey for the EU, we in rural Ireland will stand against this fight again this. No EU diktat or no government minister in Dublin will decide our private property rights and decide how we will farm our land and take our families out of land that we have drained, looked after and reared families on down through the years. I was down in Kerry last week. Yeah, well, you can have a look at the stole. I was down in Kerry. Where are the cows reared round the stole? I was down in West Clare the previous weekend. Yeah. I'd be heading back out where west. are the cows? I'd be heading back out west again this weekend. And one thing I believe absolutely to be true, that it's in all our interests to stop the destruction of the national world, which has occurred over the last 56 and years. And it's reclaimed. Within our life. The cattle are on. We are not disconnected from the natural systems. If we lose them, we will not be able to easily restore them. And we do need to protect our water, our soil, our air quality, and our land and the ecosystems that are within them. That's good in the long run for farming. It's good in the long run for forestry and for tourism and so many other industries that bring wealth and prosperity to our country. And we will work collaboratively and collectively in that. It'll, obviously, it won't work if it's anyone telling someone else how and what to do. 
but ignoring what the biodiversity the crisis, do? ignoring the destruction and loss of the natural world that has occurred in the last 50 years serves no one's interest. We have to look forward and restore nature and maintain we sure ensure our prosperity in that manner. You talked about forestry. It's a good job there might be someone in the EU that will stand up for their citizens because Sweden and Finland is actually going opposing it, just that you do know. And when you talk about um, over the last 50 years, over the last 50 years, the EU gave grants to those farmers to uh, basically shore their land, to make a living in marginal farms. And are you the person? that's going to support an EU diktat, unelected representatives, first of all, may I add, that's going to try and bring a regulation. You talked about working with people. A regulation doesn't work with people. A regulation is trying to bring it into law. It won't be accepted, just that you'll know. You're hearing it loud and clear here, because from the top of Donegal to the bottom of Kerry, out as far as even Cork, out the Midlands, you will destroy family farms if by 2050 that the plan is that you're going to re-wet the ground that, the, that they are actually spending years of trying to farm all their life. And it won't be accepted, just that you'll know, whether you're here in government or not, I am telling you clearly, it will not be accepted. It will be accepted if we provide It won't be accepted. If I can make my point up, Ms Morris, it will be accepted if we can, in restoring nature, provide an income to Don't a new generation bullshit. of farmers Definitely. and foresters and people to go after the natural world. And that, I believe, is a far more secure future Stop you. and a far more profitable future and a far more prosperous future. Stop you. For well, I, sake, I believe that that's absolutely achievable, and it won't so You're work. going to tell a family, Deputy, forget about farming, leave the area. I have to do you want to have language. it that Linster is going Including to have the farming and Munster will have it and the rest won't? I ask you to hear the Minister's response. We, I have just as much I'm an interest, sick of to I have just as much an interest in the prosperity and the future of the Irish family farm. Well, you want to reweigh all their land? Thank I you, believe Deputy. that's absolutely connected to actually protection and management of so that we land, election, the that we will need young people and old who actually see that the care of you their own environment, of their own, own local area is central to what they do. And I believe that aspiration and that instinct belongs to everyone. It doesn't belong to any one party, one way or the other. But it will We're cannot, a sovereign will people that own our property Deputy rights Morris. and will protect them. We, we We've done it before and we'll do it again. Morris. We have to work now to find a mechanism where we can do this well, there in a no way mechanism of that guarantees the land. family of the future farm, and that's what we will work towards with the European Union. Okay. The European Union will be no friend of